<laughs> fucking cilantro. I've never been so happy to say that in my life. Here he is now, feeling himself. Uh, for his first point of the Boys are back in town. Boys are back in town. Boom. Pints. 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 All right, cozy. It's been seven hours and 105-ish days. You know what it is, lads. Don't have to say much more, Cozy. They know what's going on. We're back, baby. I've been saying over the last few days, but now we're actually back, baby. Water, fuck off water. We're back. Points, Jesus, don't litter. Points are here, Dohany and Nesbitts. They're hooking us up at a table. Probably going to be like, who the fuck are you? But yeah, let's go in and uh, I, I can't speak, Cozy. I'm just mad for a pint. How are you? How are you? Are you? Yeah. Half seven or seven. Hi, Al. Camera gives it away. Slightly. Thanks very much. I see that. I was told on Instagram, if you just come through the side entrance, so I remember we were saying that you have to walk by everyone on the bar. Sounds busy, lads. How are you doing? Right, I'll see you tomorrow, John. Yeah. See ya. You're John. I'm John. Yeah. How are you doing? We're here for the creamy pints. What's your first name? Yeah, Dara. Dara. Dara Curran. This is Colin. Yeah, so all the staff are very protected anyway. Um, looks good so far, lads. In, nobody, you don't walk by anyone when you come in, so looks the job. Um, right lads, first impression is it's like, apart from the staff having big shields over their faces, seems pretty normal. No, um, plenty of people in here, very spaced out, and I knew, because uh, we were sent a picture of what it was going to be like, a lot of these pubs have these big guards in between already, thank you very much. So, um, it's it's not like, you know, you saw that video from Zurich, whatever, where it's all the plastic and all that over. It's, they, they haven't just been installed, you can tell by the look of them, do you know what I mean? Um, and, and also what we said, that pretty smart, they've moved, they've literally, looks like, I'd say they just moved these tables. Yeah. I'd say this table has just been moved from the wall up to the bar. Um, so it's probably about, what, 50%? And then obviously no one's standing, and then the exit is there behind Cozy, but you'll see it on the way out. Um, John greeted us at the door, bang on, he's straight out, he's like, two points. <laughs> and Cozy had to be like, no. Do you be sick, Cozy, when you can't have a point? Sick, absolutely sick. <laughs> um, so I, I can't even look at the menu until I, I get the sip of this creamy, creamy point. I, I noticed as well, there's nothing like which I like, there's not a big like COVID warning sign on the menu or something like you have to do this, you have to do that, fuck off after an hour and a half it's, they're obviously trying to be very hospitable try to keep it somewhat normal um, not super hungry so I have no idea what to get there is oh, nachos cozy, can't really go bad with, <laughs> wrong with nachos and I might get another pint as well so like I said before, if I get a big fish and chips or a burger you know, it's like you can have your first pint, and then that comes, and then you, and then another pint comes, and you a big burger, and then you're like, oh Jesus. Um, What's interesting is that they don't have anyone behind this bar, so they're obviously pulling the pint from somewhere else. Yeah, I presume the back bar maybe, but because your man, your man Eric, who was on to me on Instagram, said there'd be no one at the bar. Your pints will come from the waitress. Um, waiter or waitress, so yeah, well, it seems to be a great buzz. Just keep it on because we want to obviously get the pint coming, but I'm not just gonna fucking shite out of me for no reason. I'm on the Guinness and water for the big fella. 
Thank you very much. I'll just get the nachos if that's all right. Yeah? Yeah. 11 euro. Substantial. <laughs> oh, Christ, cozy. I don't want it to be an anti-climax. Like, I don't want to do... Oh, my God. I don't even know what to be saying. I was... I was I'm just glad it looks perfect. And it does. I'm not just saying it, cozy. Look at that. That looks dead on. Um, and it has the condensation, cozy. It has a perfect size head. <laughs> Wait, letting it settle another few seconds, and I'm gonna probably devour half the point to be first go. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, because imagine it was a shite, sloppy looking one. Because they didn't. Now, I'm not saying all oh, they knew we were coming to give us a great point. It would have been a great point anyway, but that would have just been awkward. Because then we couldn't have even really, wouldn't really have wanted to show it either. First one back, yeah. So I'll try it now. First, I'm not gonna lie. I've had a couple of. Unconfident. What's the word? This. What's the word we were using? Undisclosed location points, but very few. Like literally two, and I can't say where they're from. But nothing like this. Nothing in a proper bar with people around. Bit of crack. Thank you very much. This is the moment. Slancha, lads. Fucking slancha. Never been so happy to say that in my life. I'm speechless. I'm fucking. I'm, I literally swear this was an ad for Donnie and Esbitz. <sighs> Cozy. Let me enjoy it for a second. <laughs> Look at the size of the gulp. <laughs> Thankfully, it's nearly like it's like when Liverpool won the league. It's nearly a relief that it's good because I, I don't think I'm a great actor, so I couldn't have been like that's so good. But it, it be shite. Perfect temperature. So creamy, so tasty, not even that bitter. Oh man. Stick another one on. To fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't lads, don't be drinking your pints that fast, but it was your first one. I genuinely, because if, if if I had that and the same, if everyone was the same, but this was just a random review like we used to do, and I and I and it, and it tasted like that, obviously it's tasting better because it's been so long. But if it did taste like that, you'd be talking a nine-one. I'm not even joking, girls. But it's because it's been so long. It's still like what did I give it before? An eight-five or something? Yeah. So it's it's an eight-five point. But it's it would be. I'm not giving it a nine-one. Don't get me wrong. Poor, like, oh my god. I wonder because it's fresh. I don't know, is there a fresh batch of Guinness? I wonder, is that anti or is that just. Yeah, I think people people will be arguing about that in all the bullshit corners in the pubs all over the world, all over Ireland, cozy. Because um, I know, yeah, obviously, it's definitely not been sitting there because Guinness made sure they let the whole world know that they took all the kegs back. Um, <laughs> use them as like Christmas trees or just some funny out going around. So fair play to Guinness again, just genius marketing as per usual. Can't slate them there. Um, but yeah, I don't know, fresh? Do you mean like freshly made? Yeah, like just freshly brewed or whatever, you know, that it's, there's no, I don't know, big stock of them that's been waiting there for the last couple of months, that these are in the last couple of weeks that they've just been brewed and they're just harsing out. I don't know, just a theory. Solid theory. <clears throat> Good stick from from there down because that's from my first go. <laughs> usually, usually get what like eight rings. There's about three. Oh, that's getting sunk, and I'm ordering another one. <laughs> like a fucking ice cream sundae. Shut me down, that boy. Yeah, taste it's an A5 point boosted to a 9 1. But Donny and Nesbos don't get too excited, that's not your official score. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll come back to you. I'm gonna order another one, and we'll come back to you in a few minutes. But fucking loving it so far. I've been, I've been so excited all day, cozy. 
There was no pressure on this video. They knew we were coming. There was no, who's going? Do we have it? It was just strolling in. They knew who we were by the camera. And I'm just having a great time. All right, lads, here with John, a busy man tonight. John, how's it all going? Yeah, better than I thought it was going to go now. We have 70 or 80 bookings for today, so which is not bad for the first day. And what's the average amount of people per booking? Yeah, well, the biggest booking you can take is six people at the moment. And then, so six is fours and twos. So and, and how are you adjusting to the, the Star Wars face shield? Strange. Yeah. Taking a bit of getting used to, yeah. you know, like standing at the front door, meeting and greeting people is yeah. something you don't normally do, so getting used to that. And would I be right in, would I be right in saying these tables were just kind of brought from the wall there and pushed up to the bar, or would these have been here anyway? No, so you're not allowed to sit at the directly at the counter, yeah. so with a high table or a barrel, you can sit at the counter. So that gives you your two metres. And are you, uh, would this be your busiest time? Like, what time did you just open today? Uh, 10 o'clock this morning. You were open at 10? Oh, yeah. And did you have a book at 10? No, no. We, we've done a few breakfast. Okay. So breakfast and then lunch at 12 o'clock. And what time was the first pint served? Uh, I think it was about half 11, I think. Okay. Yeah. Um, and would you say it's busiest now or it was busier earlier? Uh, it's much the same. It's tipping away all evening. Like all the tables are, are gone there. So have You're handling it and it's, it's grand. Right. It's just getting used to it. It's a bit strange. Yeah. Well, that's the main thing. Listen, John, we won't keep you any longer, but yeah, thanks a million for that. That's perfect. Sound. Sorry. Right. Yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. Look at that. Are you fucking joking me? Great with the nachos as well. I didn't want a big burger. Out I think that one's even better. <laughs> that one looks even better, doesn't it? I think it was settled longer. But he brought it out pretty quick. But they probably, in fairness, probably every fucker in here is just ordering Guinness. So they're just probably banging them out, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah. Basically, yeah, they're, they're happy out. Not too manic, which... It's not like... The good... The thing they'll probably enjoy about these few months is that they know exactly who's in and who's out, you know what I mean? It's not like uh, you get a random group of 20 lads on a stag walking in and you're going, oh bollocks, need you over here, need you over there. So, although they won't be bringing in as much money, and I know they have to, like downfalls don't bring in as much money, uh, staff have to wear the face shields, but I'd say the staff will, probably won't say it, but they'll actually probably be in, enjoying it. You know, it's a steady flow of customers, they know It'd be just like working in a restaurant, so yeah. What's what's your thoughts on it, Cozy? Do you want me to flip around real quick? Like, no, I won't throw the points. Just we won't be sharing the same glass or anything. But uh, it's weird. Like sit, sitting here just feels very normal. Com coming in, I have to say, it felt a bit weird because we were like brought to our table by someone working in the bar which feels a bit weird but now it just feels like sitting in the bar having a few pints well you're having a few pints and, and having a bit of a bite to eat like doesn't feel that out of the ordinary the weird thing is John coming to the table and, and serving you all the time um, but that's just like a restaurant you're, like, you're used to that so no it's kind of Normal, but not normal at the same time. You know, bits of it like a new normal, and, and and it's grand. I think it's a it's a good experience. You know, I the, the the main thing is I feel safe, as in, and not that there would be, but there's no one coming up and chatting to you too close. All the staff have their PPE on. You know, there's no one cramped on top of each other. That sort of stuff. So, you know, I was thinking. Are they going to be? Are they going to be really close? Are you be a bit worried if you have maybe parents who are a certain age at home, etc., etc.? Would you be worried about going back to the after the pub? I actually don't think I would. I know I'm wearing a mask, but that's just ultra precaution. But if I was out having a pint, I think I'd feel pretty safe in here, at least anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, uh, same as cozy. It's it does feel relatively normal. It's absolutely grand. I if it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Do you know, you, you get <laughs> I, I, in a weird way. I kind of like the structure of it. If let's don't get me wrong, right? I'm 27 now. 
if I was 20, I'd probably be like, oh, I want to just rock in and get Jaeger bombs and have the crack and rah, rah. But like, it's a bit older, you don't mind. It's like, all right, come this way, lads. There's your table. What do you want? And you just sit here and it's just sitting and chatting. And it, there's, there's definitely nothing getting in the way of me and you just being able to have a chat, you know what I mean? So that's kind of the main thing. You come to a pub to have the chat, have the crack. The tunes are playing. Food is good. Points are orgasmic. And yeah, lads, sure, we'll finish this up and we'll talk just outside. But it literally couldn't be any better. Fantastic. Thank you. All right, lads. You caught me. Guilty. Point number three. We we very rarely, when we're doing it... Well, it's not a review call, is it? It's just a, a video. But I, I don't think we've ever even had two points when we've gone anywhere. Because it's always just in and out, onto the next place. But there's no next place tonight. Next place is home. And I had two, and I just I said, ah, lads... Have to have a third, and it's not like me causing it now. Well, oh, yep. Oh, we just signed it out here, cozy. Yeah, um, final thoughts. I suppose to reiterate what John said, it's going surprisingly well. No, I'm, not that I'm surprised, but. Pleasantly, just better than expected. I was expecting to come in. I was expecting to be a bit manic. Do you know, it's it's half seven, eight o'clock. Probably, I'd say it was calm enough during the day. And now there's a good few people after work. Oh yeah, let's book a table. And there's probably people like just going online and booking it now and whatever system, whatever way it works. Um, but I have to say, and I'm not just sucking up to Donny and Ezra. It's like we we knew this place is good before we came here, but. I, I mean, in, if we're reviewing experiences, it's cozy, 10 out of 10. Like, honest to God, came in, greeted at the door, they knew who we were because we had the camera. I know who you are, the camera. Brought down the side, and like Cozy said, it was a little bit strange. You kind of got the vibe that you're going to have to be murdered somewhere, and then you just turn right and you're in the pub, you're like, oh, we're safe. <laughs> um, but yeah, you did, you, we didn't... I don't think we were even within two meters of anyone as we came in, exactly what Cozy said. He sounded a bit gimpish saying it, but you do feel safe. And especially right here, we're up against the bar. There's no one even walking by the bar. The only person who's walking by us is the waitress. And she's kind of like going against the wall, so she's at least a meter away. <clears throat> then on to the points. They haven't even talked about the points. The points have been exceptional. Cozy made the point. Ma made the point. <laughs> Cozy made the point that maybe it's because um, they like. I presume it's across the board, the pints are just fresh. That he got rid of all the old monkey pints in the kegs and just really, because you know Guinness, they had to set the standard high for when people were coming back. And I have to say, those are three of the most delicious pints I've ever had in my entire life. I can't even lie, like holy fuck, they're right up there. They're so good. And then we just got the nachos with it. They were like 11 euro just to get substantial and shit um, but yeah ab conclusion absolutely amazing I would definitely recommend lads don't just sit there and go oh I don't I'm gonna wait till July I don't think it's gonna be that much different in July especially here Daphne and Nesbitt's is gonna be the exact same on July 20th as it is today so get out and go to the pub don't just be ah oh, fuck that get out and go to the pub support your local whether it's in your local or in Dublin, whatever, get out and go to the pub. You don't know what you're missing. You think you can wait another three weeks for this? You can't, lads. You fucking can't. Slauncher, lads. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Go on! <laughs>